Hello everyone, my name is Relax and Panic and this is another reaction to Shokugiki Nusuma. It is the fourth plate, episode three. First things first, please be aware that uh, during the setup of this episode uh, and the reaction, I made a little hiccup with uh, the microphone. So the first eight to nine minutes are without me really saying anything. I hope you can live with that because I do not do secondary reactions. Sorry, I don't re-record and act as though I haven't seen so uh, after that you will have my sound. However, if you first, as it should be, want to see the reaction, go down into my descriptions, follow the links, replace the parenthesis dot parts with real dots and enjoy. Once you've done, feel free to come back here and hear me out about this episode. So see you soon. To those that came back, welcome back from an interesting episode of um, me talking without talking and uh, watching my face <laughs> reacting to the fact that I realize it. I just checked it. It was kind of entertaining for me. Um, the episode. So, I mean, it's in many ways um, more like a setup for the next match. The, uh, the fact that um, the last match went for the first seat, so uh, Tsukasa Ishii won... Ishii, sorry. Um, was not really a surprise. I mean, I really, really give it to Kuga. He tried and I really would like him to win that one, but um, it's the first seed, man. And we've seen in the past what he's capable of and you cannot beat him easily. And they did not really show a lot of the uh, how the dishes were made. So um, just how it was presented, how the fight was shown, how much of the cooking was shown and it wasn't done. Um, it was pretty clear that this would be a loss. You know, after being in the fourth season, that's something you should have realized by now. Um, if it is a clear thing for the enemy, you normally don't see much of cooking. It's just, you know, he's trampling over someone. Um, while if you have like um, a really big and important battle and it's a close win, something like that, they tend to go more into the details of how it is all done, how it is boiled, how it is um, sweetened and so on. Not just at the presentation, but during it as well. So um, that was pretty clear to me and just story-wise it made sense. It would have been strange, but it would have been a nice surprise if uh, Kuga would have won that one. But he did improve and I think that's the important thing. So they gave him a little bit of more background, which I like. Um, they showed his past with uh, uh, Tsukasa Ishii and um, he was mentioned now by him. So uh, he is someone he got aware of, he realized that is there and he even gave him like a little pat on the back like um, you have grown, I respect that, you are fighting, you know, that's a good thing. Um, I, uh, during the reaction, I think you did not hear it. I commented on uh, the fact that Kuga said he worked hard on changing, on um, getting away from Chinese cuisine to um, something else, which is a French cuisine in this case. Um, sure, it's a cool thing to have an additional ace up your sleeves, but I would not really like him to go away from the Chinese cuisine. It's his speciality. If he would be able to improve it, if he would be able to implement things from other cuisines and thus strengthen his speciality, I think that is the thing he should go for. And I think that's what they meant. And um, it was just a bit badly worded there. Um, then... Uh, we had the uh, presentation of the dishes and I like it so the idea of um, getting this very specific taste of the meat less and thus the taste of the green leaves of the green tea stronger in is a nice idea. Um, it worked out um, but it could not compete with this very special dish that Tsukasa Ishi created having four different green leaves um, and um, giving each of them I mean, in the end, each and every one of them was like a very own dish and the combination of all four um, strengthened each other. So that's, yeah, the perfect match there, the perfect game uh, that he played. So uh, we have seen that in the past that if you combine multiple different things, it improves on each other and with each other. And that's what he did. They did not show it off 
as much as I did in the past. But I think I commented on that in the last episode that I said I'm waiting for something like that again. And here we have it. So it's a clear win. Um, just the what the heck. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Then we had the fact that um, two competitors are exhausted. So Rindo and uh, Tsukasa Aishi. I am not sure, though, because when they talk to each other and Rindo Senpai asked, um, hey, why are you exhausted? And he's like, yeah, uh, you know, I am just due to the match and stuff like that. And then she like falls down. It seemed a bit weird to me. I may be wrong, but it feels a little bit to me like they are acknowledging that the rebels are really good at what they're doing. And they really want to give him a chance. I think if you compete against those two, they would possibly um, kick out all of the rebels without, let's say, f except for three right at the moment. So, um, <coughs> sorry, I think um, Yukihira is someone who uh, would stand a chance, uh, Ishiki and um, Irina for sure. So those three are like the top players in the rebels. And I think like um, either it is a trick to keep up their energy or it is that they're really exhausted. But it feels to me like um, Tsukazaishi and Rindo Senpai are possibly rooting at least a little bit for the rebels. It's just an edge, you know, just an, an itch there like because it felt like they acted like they are exhausted and are not really. Um, but we will see. I mean, that does not mean they will give up. They will not give him an easy win. They will still go in full force and strong. Um, but maybe we have some people on the other side who want to help us. I'm still waiting for the old guys. I mean, they're standing at the side. What are they waiting for? Um, <clears throat> so that's one thing. Uh, which brings me to how the heck do you beat Tsukasa Aishi? From what we've seen in this battle and what they have explained about what he's doing. And what we've seen in the past, him against Yukihira. Um, sure, I think Yukihira could beat him, possibly, if he would draw Lucky. It would be like a, something that he's really good at, um, and would have a good day, but it is just, you know, this percentage thing. Um, they can go head to head, and in most cases, uh, Tsukasa Aishi would win, I think. And just in some minor cases, it might be a win going for Yukihira, and I said it might be. So... I don't think normally he would be able to beat him one-on-one. -on -one. But we have a three-on-three -three battle here, and we've seen in this last one that you can help each other. So what I say is, but it's too late for that, I think, a strategy that they could have gone for is, um, while making three against three dishes, mainly creating the best they can for the one dish that is going against Tsukasa. By doing so, being like three against one, each of the competitors bringing in their best, you know, like um, one with the best meat, one with the best um, spicing and stuff like that. And by the combination of those three major talents, they would have been able, I think, to kick out uh, Tsukasa Ishii, while two of them would have had an automatic loss against their competitors, against their enemies, because they did not really cook for themselves. Um, but you would have had the strongest of the enemy team rolled out. And I was kind of... I thought that would have been like an option. Um, they didn't go for it. I mean, they want to have fair fights, I guess. So, But I see that this would have been an option. Um, which brings me to the battle now. So we have uh, <laughs> this one here in the match. Uh, so Butchie um, with the tummy full of student IDs. So everyone that she ever beat, um, these IDs are in uh, the belly um she's a weird girl i mean she acts cute and nice but I, it feels like she's very very dangerous and kind of mean somewhere this fact that she gives you cute names when she looks down on you okay <clears throat> uh, speciality in sweets the number one and they drew apples which is possibly not the best choice there um for her it's great I think that Megumi, who is going against her, still might have a chance. And with Apple 
can create something good. Um, I'm not sure about this match. Um, I'm clearly rooting for Megumin because I really like her. She's a very likable character. Um, she's like the good soul, you know? Um, although power-wise or ability-wise, it seems way more like um, uh, Momo should win that one. But who knows? We will see. Um, then we have uh, the Battle of the Aldini Brother against uh, Setsu Aitan, I think it is. The guy who's so angry all the time, who hates Yukihira with so much passion. Um, I really want to give that one to Aldini. Because, um, out of multiple reasons, uh, the, uh, uh, the anger management problem that his enemy has will... I think make him do some mistakes maybe. And the other thing is the Aldini brother, the younger... Oh no, they're the same age. Um, uh, the Aldini brother was always shown as... Um, like a perfect opponent for Yukihiro, like someone who wants to go on par with him. Um, not like a real enemy, because they became friends and they became um, rivals in a positive way to inspire each other. And I would really like that um, edge to go on, that that idea to go on, that he is nearly as good as Yukihira is and improving all the time. Um, and I think that that is something he can improve this time. So I think he will win that one. Um, they uh, got some meat, so we will see where this is going. And last but not least, we <laughs> have Yukihira against the sushi chef from hell. Um, and he sure he drew sushi. <laughs> I mean, what the heck? It was like, don't draw sushi. He draws it. Um, and butter. So, I know that there is some, um, if you have like nothing in your house um, to eat and you have uh, rice there, you can just melt a little bit of butter and pour it over and it will taste, right? Because it's basically a lot of fat. Um, it gives a very special specific and nice taste butter has this um and uh, there's salted butter butter nowadays so you have like salted buttery rice i think that is a very easy and poor man's food um so you can go from that and it's easily fast made very cheap so it goes possibly into the direction that yukihira is uh thinking of additionally uh having worked in the diner that he does um, rice dishes are very very common so he will have a palette a lot of uh, options what to create um, and just because sushi is the the meaning so you put in fish possibly you may go for vegan sushi as well um, yes no question his enemy is specialized in that and is very good at it um, but I wouldn't count Yukihira out here I, I think just story wise he's the one winning it because you need him in the final, right? It would be weird if he wouldn't be in there. Um, but I think he stands a good chance and he has shown in the past that he's able to adapt and um, create some wonderful, um, nice things. Um, what I ask myself is if we will have like a high-class sushi from the one side against a very lowly created um, for everyone sushi from the diner um, or a sushi like bowl I mean the other one goes for a don so it's kind of this thing as well um, where Yuki Rizuma once again can show that food for the masses can be tasty as well we will see um, I look forward to it so that's it for me this time I hope you liked I did for sure, and as always, until the next time, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. My name is Relax and Panic, goodbye, and out.